We have Guadalajara, the final WTA event of the regular season. It is a 1,000 event. It's worth a lot of points. And we have WTA finals implications. A lot of WTA finalists are playing. Let's go have a look at the withdrawals though because there's a lot of players that are not playing this event. Okay, so the players that are out of Guadalajara and we've got some big names that are out. Anisimova, she's not playing. Kennan also pulled out. Contivate pulled out as well. Martic, Muguruza and Zhang has also pulled out. So big names there and a couple of players that were in the finals race have now pulled out and they can't earn any points so they would be out of the race completely let's go to the top of the draw though because this tournament is stacked starting at the top of the draw we have 16 seeds in this one the top eight seeds get a buy in the first round but dosa she is with a buy in the first round she'll play the winner of song versus azarenka in the second round so a big match there and Badosa being the number one seed, who's not in very good form, but also playing over a WTA Finals race spot, I should say. Very interested to see how Badosa does. She needs to win. Uh, then we've got Tomanovic taking on the uh, wildcard Gomez. Winner of that match takes on either Lynette or Keys, the 13th seed in the second round. So Keys, another player who's trying to get to the WTA Finals. Haddad Meyer, the number 11 seed, takes on Sydney Akova. Winner of that match takes on either Rogers or Trevison in the second round. Then we've got a qualifier taking on Potapova. Winner of that match takes on the number five seed, Goff, in the second round. So Coco Goff, also trying to play for a WTA final spot. Let's go to the next section of the draw. We've got Pagula, the number three seed up the top. She gets a buy in the first round. She'll play the winner of Rabakina or Pliskova in the second round. So battle of the big servers and also, of course, the Wimbledon champion, Rabakina. Interested to see what that looks like. Then we've got Andrescu taking on Teichman. Winner of that match takes on either Pera or the number 16 seed, Kvitova, in the second round. Then we've got Benchis, the number 10 seed, taking on Fernandez. Woohoo! That's a match. What a match. Winner of that match takes on either Stevens or, or a qualifier in the second round. Then we've got Lee versus another qualifier. Winner of that match takes on the number six seed, Garcia. So you've got Pagula already qualified. Garcia looking to qualify. Benchic is an outside chance of qualifying as well. It's a very interesting section of the draw. Also, Kvitov is an outside chance as well. If she has a great week, she could qualify. So, again, I mean, that Benchic versus Fernandez match is fire, but this is insane, this uh, this part of the draw. Again, every match of this, uh, every every match matters in this uh, in this tournament. All right, next section of the draw, we've got Kudamatova, the eighth seed, buying the first round. She'll take on either Vekic, funny that we're watching her now, Vekic or a qualifier in the second round. Then we've got Bouchard taking on another qualifier. Winner of that match takes on another qualifier or the 12th seed, Ostapenko, in the second round. Then we've got Collins, the 14th seed, taking on a qualifier. Bloody hell, all the qualifiers in this part of the draw. Winner of that match takes on either a qualifier or Putin Sever in the second round. Of course, Collins playing uh, as we speak, but also playing for a WTA final spot. Very interested to see how that how she looks. Uh, Kostruk takes on Sasnovich. Winner of that match takes on the number four seed, Zachary, in the second round. Kudamatova, Collins, and Zachary all in the race for the final spots. And Kudamatova's in the top eight as of now. Zachary just outside. Huge. Again, huge matches all rounds. Okay, in the final section of the draw, Kazakina, the seventh seed, gets a buy in the first round. She'll take on the winner of Zoo versus Cornet. We're going out in the first round. Then we've got a qualifier taking on Mertens. Winner of that match takes on either Kellen Scale or the number nine seed, Krijakova, in the second round. Then we've got the 15th seed, Alexandrova, taking on Osorio. Winner of that match takes on either Buzkova or Martin Kova in the second round. Then we've got Samsonova versus Kinepi. Winner of that match takes on the number two seed, Sabalenka, in the second round. Again, Sabalenka, Kazakina, both in the finals race uh, and in the top eight. So they're looking to get qualified uh, as of the next couple of days. Sabalenka's draw is terrible. I mean, Samsonova, Kinepi, both of them are nightmares. Sabalenka's got probably the toughest draw like from that from that second round that looks nightmarish but uh man what a race to the finals we've got who's gonna win and who's also gonna make the finals because that is more important winning the tournament's great but trying to qualify for the wta finals that is what all these guys ladies are playing for who's gonna make it who's gonna win guadalajara the final event of the season for most players